Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to create simple voice macros using Voice Attack. This is a continuation of my other videos on uh, Voice Attack, so if you haven't seen my demonstration video um, or how to install Voice Attack uh, video, please uh, be sure to check those links out below. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe and smash that like button as it tells me this is the kind of content players want to see. All right, so uh, let's get started. Um, so right now I'm actually in, as you see, I'm in, uh, in Star Citizen. I'm going to pull up the voice attack program. There we go. There it is. All right. So this screen basically, uh, keeps like a running log of all the commands, uh, that has been run or that, it, you know, that's, uh, recognized. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in order to create a new command, I'm going to go over here and click on the edit profile. And what the edit profile shows you is um, basically the name of the profile for, so for instance, these are all the commands that'll work with Star Citizen. And as you can see, I've actually created uh, several um, that I used in my demonstration video. And so what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to create a new command so you click on new command here. And we're going to create a new one called inventory. So when I say inventory, um, our uh, uh, the inventory system will start up in, in, uh, in Star Citizen. And if I say inventory again when it's open, it'll, it'll close just as if I pressed I, because that's what we're going to do here. So, uh, so this is basically when I say inventory, and I want to press a key. And this is one of the simplest macros you can make is, is a press a key macro. So I'm going to click on press key. And you can press, um, you can press uh, any key that you want to associate with the, the uh, command. In this case, it's going to be just letter I. And it'll show up there, as you can see in the uh, keyboard. I can also, I think I could also do control I. Let me see what if I do control I. So that would be a control I. I'm gonna take out the control there. Oh, that's not good. Um, if I just make it I, no, I think I gotta cancel out of that. Let's try it again. All right, so I'm just gonna hit I for inventory. And we're gonna select the press and release keys. Uh, if, you press, if you select press keys, release keys or toggle keys it won't work it, they do other functions like press keys I, I think that actually holds it down indefinitely and then release key would cause that key to be released uh, if you wanted to like I don't know wait I don't know how you would use that yet I've, I've only used the press and release key for like I said doing these simple um, press a key and have something happen on the screen function so anyway uh, we're gonna select the uh, press and release keys and we're gonna set it set it for hold down for 0 0.100 seconds so that's about the time it you when you press key that's how long it's down for so so i just press i and then i type and i clicked on press and release keys and i typed in 0 0.100 seconds i click ok and that's really all there is to that command you don't have to worry about any of this other stuff down here so after that um i'm just going to click on ok and now we have inventory. Now, once you create a command, um, it's not actually going to be usable within uh, voice attack unless you click on apply. And what I do is I leave this list up even while I'm playing just so I can have it on the side and I can be looking at it because I sometimes can't remember all the commands I've made. So let's put this to the side and let's see if inventory works. And I'll move this to Actually, I have to close that. Well, I just click on here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Inventory. There we go. Uh, and then to close it, we just say it again. Inventory. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, that's right. That won't work. Oh, it did. Look at that. I thought I had to click on the exit at the bottom. Apparently, you don't have to. So, inventory. Inventory. There we go. So that's probably the simplest um, simplest macro you can make is just a keystroke macro. So um, 
Now another one, another variation of that we can do, we can do, I, I did not make one yet for the inner thought. So let's try and do that. So let me pull up, bring this guy back. And for inner thought, let me get my notes on that. For inner thought, we're going to again create a new command. Oh, and if also if you wanted to, I should probably go back and tell you. Let's say you wanted to change the inventory to something else, or one of these other commands, something else. You can also edit them. Uh, to edit, you can either just click on the edit button up here, and it'll, it'll edit the uh, lay edit the one that you've highlighted, or you can just double click on it, and it'll come up, and you can make whatever changes you want to make to it. And same thing here, if you wanted to edit one of the uh, one of the steps in the command, the macro. You can just double click on it and there you go it comes right up and again like I said you could change it click click on OK and it'll it'll keep it so let's create another new command and we'll call this one inner thoughts so when I say inner thought we're gonna have some um, steps down here or some uh, steps down here happen so let's see I'm gonna do a I want to do a key press and it's F for inner thought and again it's going to hold down for 0.1 seconds so we're good with that and then we're going to add a second step and that's going to be a, a mouse click and this lets you choose any number of all the different kind of mouse clicks that you can do and for us, we want to do a click right mouse button. And then just click on OK. And oh, it has the click duration. Looks like 0.1 seconds is the standard for clicks and keystrokes. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't decide that that was kind of what the default was in uh, voice attack. So I'll click OK. And now we have that command in there. Now, if you wanted to or rearrange these slightly, you could use up and down to move things around. Uh, here's the edit, the uh, edit button, or you can, like I said, you can double click on it, or delete will delete the the uh, step. So okay, and again, we're not going to worry about any of this stuff down here. Not necessary for um, for a single keystroke macro. So click OK, and then apply. All right, let's see if this works. Please don't make a liar out of me. Inner thought. Inner thought. Oh, it made a liar out of me. I think we need to make it longer than 0.1 seconds. So, I guess I should have tested this first. So let's go over here and edit this guy. Edit the, press the F key. Let's make it one second. There. Click OK. Click OK. Click Apply. All right, here we go. Inner thought. There we go. So now I can go anywhere I want. And if I ever want to have inner thought pop up, Inner thought. There we go. Pretty cool. Um, and so, and also, like you can see, all those other commands I have in here. Uh, trying to see if any. Oh, Moby Glass. That's a good one. This is an interesting one because if you look at Moby Glass, well, the word Moby Glass, I had to misspell it here because it actually phonetically figures out. Uh, what you're saying. So if I spelled it correctly as it is in the game, I don't think it would figure out that is Moby Glass. I just don't think it would do it. Let's see. But as you see, Moby Glass, just press F1 and hold it down for 0.1 seconds, which is a keystroke and release. That's all there is to Moby Glass. Apply. Moby Glass. Wow. I'm impressed. I really didn't think it would figure that one out. Moby Glass. Okay. I'm wrong. I learn something new every day. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, 
Mm -hmm. I don't think I had a whole lot in here. Had an awful lot for fur uh, when I do um, cargo runs. So, yeah. A lot of stuff with uh, with uh, flying. Uh, and I also recently added some for, uh, for when I do uh, bounty, uh, bounty hunting, which I'm lousy at. But still, it was interesting to see how it would work. I, I actually did one for uh, flares or really decoys. And for some reason, when I said decoy, it wouldn't pick up decoy, but it picked up flare. So what I, what I did with this was um, when I when I wanted to, when I say flare, it automatically presses H for me twice with a with a pause of 0.05 seconds. So for that, um, I would just do a key press of H. Well, you know, I should probably just edit it. Key press of H, and I hold it down for a second. Or, I'm sorry, 0.1 seconds, because that's a keystroke. And then I do a pause for half a second. And pauses are right here, so you can do a add a pause, which is what I did. Add a pause for a half a second, which I think it must, I'm pretty sure it, it must um, see that I recently had one for half a second, decide that that must be default, because I don't remember that saying half a second before um, at a specific pause and again they're they're giving you some options there uh, and at a variable pause I don't I haven't gotten into that at all yeah I've just been doing just standard uh, like half a second or a second pauses save that um, mouse you can also do mouse move which I'll do in a later video when I show you how to do the inventory um, Inventory and also sell an item. You, uh, we use the move a lot, so move mouse a lot. And what else do we have? Other I haven't really even looked at other yet, except for um, there is one that we'll look at. I'm gonna pull up right now. There's a command in here called stop all, and we don't really need it for single keystroke macros, but when we get into sell item and into uh, move items. In inventory you need stop all in order to uh, it, basically those two are those, both um, uh, move items and sell items are loops so once you get it started it never stops until you tell it to and this is how you tell it to uh, you basically have um, You basically have a, you put a, uh, one of these other commands in here, uh, stop voice tech command processing. And it's one of these, uh, here is a stop processing all commands. That's what that is. And all you do is click on that. It adds it, adds it right there. I don't need two of them, of course. But what that'll do is when you, when I say stop all, it will stop all, all uh, voice attack processing. And as a backup, in case for some reason it, it can't process it because it's just, it's, has issues in interpreting what I'm saying. I also give it a left alt, alt one, a left alt one to stop it on the keyboard as well as a backup. Although I haven't had to use that yet, and I've been using it a lot for inventory. Uh, it's great for inventory. Um, the uh, sell item, uh, it's a little, it's a little finicky. I'm, I'm still tweaking that a little bit. It'll work for a little while, and then I think the the mouse starts to. Um, uh, slowly starts to drift a little bit and then it, it loses its spot where it's clicking the okay for the for the sale button so uh, I'm still kind of tweaking that a little bit but it does work it just it's finicky so so that that's something you'll probably want to add um, right away is a stop a stop all uh, macro yeah, don't worry about that there we go so that's pretty much how you create a, uh, a, a single single keystroke macro. Um, and as you can see, I've done it for so much, so many things. I haven't did it for missiles. So fun. When I'm, I tried it tonight when I was I was doing a uh, I was doing a bounty. So basically, when I say missiles, it flips over to missile mode. And if I say missiles again, then it flips back to gun mode. I didn't bother making a gun mode version of it, but um, but that was neat. That was neat. And obviously all the ones involved with flying, like uh, turning on the engines, um, uh, pressing C to go, I call it cruise mode. I, I don't know what it's actually called. Um, 
and uh, being able to say engage when you want the quantum drive to turn on that's kind of cool uh, so that's fun it is nice and it actually I think it might be pretty useful for bounty hunting which I didn't think it would be um, but I found that actually it, it kept me from taking my hands off the off my joysticks as much so that was kind of nice because there were certain there I just ran out of buttons on my on my joysticks so it, it, it was kind of nice having be able to say a few things that like go to missile mode that's nice to be able to not have to have a button dedicated to that so all right so that's it for uh, creating a, a macro a single keystroke macro thank you very much for uh, for uh, watching this video and uh, have a great night